Now, for all hands and purpose, we'll be using the Mercury Tools website, which comes bundled with the Mercury Road Runner. So, it would be nice before we have a look at the hands on. Let's have a quick short introduction to the Mercury Tools website. Click start all programs, Mercury Load Runner, samples, click on web, start web server. The web server will start, an icon is stored in the system tray. Again, this time click the Mercury Tools application. The home page of Mercury Tools opens. There are two basic links here. One is the sign up, other is the administration link. Now let's look at the administration link. There are various options provided which change the administration profile of the server. Let's keep the default settings as of now and returns to the Mercury Tools home page. For sign up, enter a suitable username. and a password the first name address and the city click continue since you have just signed up, you can directly click continue to log in with the application. On a fresh startup, you need to explicitly mention the username and password here. I will click continue for the time being. I am taken into the web Mercury Web Studio application. The application is mainly designed to book a flight. There are four buttons provided, flights, itinerary, home, sign off. The flight section is used to book flights between different cities. The itinerary section is used to see the different bookings done by a particular person. The home button takes you to the home page and the sign off logs you out of the application. I'll click on the flights button. Here I'm provided an option to select the departure city, the arrival city, the date of departure, the return date number of passengers again, again I can choose the seating preferences and the type of seating so perhaps let, let me book from Denver to London keeping everything default I'll choose a seating preference as IL and click continue there are four flight options provided to me I choose the flight at 1 p.m. click continue my payment details are pulled up for my registration data. I need to enter my credit card number and an expiry date needs to be mentioned. I click continue. An invoice appears. I have an option here to book another flight or I can click on itinerary button to see my itinerary. Here in the itinerary section, I have an option to cancel this flight using the cancel check button or I can use the cancel all button to cancel multiple bookings in case they are available. I click the home button that takes me to the home page. I click sign off. And that's the application for you.